Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly Sagittarius only, <laughs> Sagittarius specific, your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from um, October 4th through the 15th in and around, around those dates. This is the oracle card reading and then over on Vimeo, the link is in the description, there's the full tarot card reading and romance reading. Uh, Sagittarius, this is for you and you alone. So if you are on platforms that allow for commercials to interrupt, please do expect one in a couple of seconds. I appreciate your patience and your patience actually helps to support the channel. So just let the, let the commercial run and I will be right back. Now, for those of you who just waited through an awkward pause, thank you so much. And thank you so much for those of you who actually watched the commercial. I appreciate that too. Um, Sagittarius, please, if you're just finding the channel, please subscribe and like this video, share it on different social media platforms, and be sure to ring that bell so you know when I upload content. Let's get into your reading, Sag. I don't know if you caught the weekend romance, but it was pretty intense this week. This is a reading just for Sagittarius energies. Energies for Sagittarius for the week of October, okay, October 4th through the 15th. Week ahead reading for Sagittarius. Week ahead reading for Sagittarius. October 4th through the 15th, 2019. Week ahead reading for Sagittarius. Week ahead reading for Sagittarius. Reading for Sagittarius. We can reading for Sagittarius. We can reading for Sagittarius. All right, Sag, here we go. Sometimes life stings. Ouch. Okay. So I think that you're going through something. The energy that I'm picking up is you're going through something very difficult, very unexpected. There's uh, something that's quite painful to you. Something that, um, yeah, some, yeah, there's, there's, there's something quite difficult that you're dealing with right now. The energy is almost shock. Um, I, I don't really know how else to explain it. Um, this may not be for all Sagittarius's, but there's, de this is definitely a, an experience that's sort of outstanding to you this week. Sometimes life stings. This is maybe a uh, message is coming through the internet. Maybe something, uh, a message is coming through you through the, you know, like the World Wide web, you see the web, but also this is sort of just like, um, sort of a, a, something that's come full circle, uh, a completion of some sort, something that you're sad to see and sad to see over, um, something that could be bugging you, something that could be pestering you, something that you don't feel like you have control over. And, and it's not like you're, you're, you know, you do. It's, it's bringing you to a point where you don't feel like you're in control. You don't feel like you don't, not only do you not feel like you're in control, but you don't feel like you have any say in the matter at all. It's like something has, something has been totally taken out of your hands. And for some of you Sagittarius, you actually wanted it taken out of your hands. So it would be sort of a clearing that you're happy about, but you may feel guilty about being happy about it. But for most, it's just this clearing that was extremely unexpected. And you don't feel like anybody took what you wanted or your opinions into consideration at all. So it's making you feel not only out of control, but completely and totally helpless and vulnerable. This is definitely a pain. Sometimes this is a buzz. Sometimes this is an irritation. Sometimes this is what people are talking about or the way that they're talking about you. But for the most part, uh, the general energy is a, a disturbance in your force this week, Sagittarius. Um, having to maybe deal with the aftermath of... Yeah, it's, 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 it's like, it's like you cannot affect this circumstance and it's almost like you have to put your trust and faith in others to help you through this circumstance and that doesn't, and you don't like it. You don't like the, the feeling of not having any input. This is definitely a situation where it's a lesson in faith and it's a lesson in humility. Um... And sometimes, some for some of you, it's a lesson in heartache. Um, 
there is an extreme set where it's just burn. It's like a burn. Yeah, it's like a it's like an ouch. And that's that's all I can really say about it. There is this 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 situation that you're going to have to deal with that is extremely and maybe excruciatingly uncomfortable. Uh, a major change that has shifted in your life, Sagittarius. Wow, it's almost like the energy is so great that it's it's shocking. Um watch and wait. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces. There could be a Pisces in this chart. What this is, is there's, it's, it's almost this illusionary energy. This is my Piscean card. Illusionary energy. So in other words, you can't tell the facts from fiction. This is a, it's a, it's a, you can't tell what's real and what's not. You can't tell who to trust and who not to trust. You feel almost like you're in a daze. Yes. Like you're in a, in a dream state where you don't know what's real and what's not because everything around you is so unfamiliar and everything around you is, it feels so out of your hands. But there is this sense where all you can do, it's almost like you just have to like, like be in a holding pattern this week, Sagittarius, to just wait for the results of something, to wait for the outcome of something, to wait for feedback of something. It's, it's, uh, yeah, this is a perpetual holding pattern. This, um, this energy is definitely, it's your, it's, it's your energy. I don't think this is an outward energy. If this is an outward energy, it has to deal with a person, a person that you care about greatly, uh, deeply. And they're in either could be twofold. It could be them watching you to know that it's okay to know that everything is going to be okay them being concerned or caring about not really understanding what you mean by things or what you want or what you need maybe almost like there's this barrier between you that you can't you can't cross like like communications it's almost like a bermuda triangle it's almost like a bermuda triangle where communications just go down and they're sort of left to this 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 mystery this this um middle ground that you really don't like it's, it's bothering you a great deal. Um, um, there's an innocence to this energy. So it's not a malicious energy. It's an energy that just, um, um, it's almost like, like, uh, it's, it's a compromised energy. It's, it's, I think somebody in your life or something in your life is, is at risk in, in some way. Um, either you, you, you know, it. they could be at risk. You could feel that they're at risk for something. You could feel that they're sick without knowing it or making bad decisions and you can see it, but they don't want to listen to you. You can feel this sort of, they're not doing anything. It's not, the thing is they're not doing anything bad to you, but something may, might be bad that's happening to them. But it's in that sort of middle ground where you can't just cut in and take over and make decisions for them. It's almost like you have to wait it out in order to see you're it's like you're trying to believe in them, but you don't know if they have the energy and strength to get through this. Ooh, Sagittarius, this is pretty heavy stuff. Be generous of spirit. Um, this has to do with basically your center of gravity is what I heard. This person has a lot to do with how you feel about yourself. If there is a specific person or this situation has a lot to do with your sense of self, who you see yourself as your value in the world at large is directly attached to this circumstance or this person that is now compromised. So that's kind of causing the the big the, I think the, the biggest issues is probably your concern for this situation but it's also affecting you in in the way that that it's it's making you question yourself it's making you question your own life it's making you question your own stability life in general if this could happen anything could happen um yeah like like yeah it's it's i feel like you're so confused right now, Sagittarius. I knew this was going to be a difficult week for you. A difficult week for you. Um, uh, you know, I just, I just, I just heard this. This could be like, 
This could be an unexpected pregnancy, um, something that came up that really knocked you on for a loop. This could be um, somebody that you were in love with announcing that they got somebody else pregnant. Um, this could be... Um, You know, this could have something to do with your father or a parent, but I see father, seahorse spirit has a lot to do with a, a father, a father who is very loving and very nurturing and takes care of their child. They're very, it's a, it's a loving and nurturing energy. And it's almost this person that's been compromised somehow. Like, like his strength has been diminished and now it's like he's looking to you or you're the one that's going to have to be strong all on your own um, because his strength is compromised in some capacity. Um, oh, wow. I will definitely turn the cards around so that you can see the Oracle cards, 100%. Um, yeah, this, is, this is, has to do with look, elephant energy is... is is hitting is hitting me hard. In other words, this is almost like a charge or a stampede that bulldozed you, you and whoever is else is involved in this situation. Um, it almost felt like it's. I could almost hear the thunder and the rumbling of the earth, and there was no way that you could avoid the stampede. And you feel like you just got hit by a brick wall that came, like like. Like the brick wall came running at you. You don't even know where the brick wall came from. Um, this is also an energy of um, resiliency. It's going to require a lot of resiliency. Re yeah, and stamina from you to be able to get through this. This is uh, something that you'll never forget. In, a, in other words, this is a, a circumstance or a situation in your life that is seared into your head for the rest of your life. And, um, I don't know, but I feel that there's a hope, that there's a hope, that there's a, a sense of uh, things can get better, things can heal, things can turn around. There's a sense of hope that's coming through that maybe doesn't make much sense right now or doesn't make sense to you, but there's a sense of hope of, 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 um, Oh, Jesus. This is a very maternal energy. This is like the pack, a pack that helps to raise the, the young ones and works all together. So if this isn't somebody that's directly related to your family, it's somebody that stands on the outside of your family that was like family. Um, the church bells are ringing. Um, the... Um, There's a lot, in other words, whoever is at risk, whoever, whatever situation is at risk, um, valued you a great deal as well. There was a strong connection that says they'll never forget you. They'll never be able, they'll, they, they'll never forget you. It's like somehow, um, you'll always, you're always going to be a part of each other. Interesting. There's a turnaround uh, there's a turnaround, Sagittarius, and there's this is heavy Taurus energy. So I don't know who is it's a Taurus in your life, but if they've been impacted, like like almost front run, like head on impact, there's almost a miracle at foot that will enable a comeback or um, some sort of aid and assistance that you couldn't predict or you didn't see coming is going to thank God Jupiter always has your back, Sagittarius. It's an energy of, of even in this darkest time, something like little seeds of magic have shown up for you to plant them. And, and, oh, wow. It's like, it's like a miracle coming through at just the right time in the dark. It's like, oh, oh also I heard bearing the weight of the gods, bearing the weight of the gods, because that's what cow does. Cow energy bears the weight of the gods. 
So this is almost like you dealing with the divine mysteries of life, Sagittarius, and almost feeling maybe like the weight of something that's too big for you to understand is on your shoulders. And it's just, you have to proceed in faith. There's no other way to get through this, but faith. You do have the divine choosing you and, and moving forward with you. So there's a lot of gifts and grace this week as well. And you'll see it despite how heavy things are. You'll see a beautiful grace that shines through. I keep getting the word grace. Oh, yeah. I just keep getting the... Um... Hmm. Okay. I want to I wanna see. I, it's another card. Another card. Another card. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. October 4th through the 15th. I am going to turn the cards around so that you can see them all. It's very emotional. I, I can show you. It's it's like, you know, I got to show you the cards. Hold on. I'm going to see if there's another card that's going to come out for you. I'm going to try to shuffle one more time. Sagittarius for October 4th through the 15th, 2019. Another card will spring out. No, okay. Let me turn the camera around. Okay, so if you can see the cards, it's almost like there's a piece of the puzzle that isn't written yet. And we have on the bottom of the deck, table, take a leap of faith, but I feel like that's not even for you. It's like this whole instant instance is going to require that you take a leap of faith. But what I wanted to show you is how seahorse, this emotional energy is looking back, but then the spirit and sense of self is looking forward. So it's almost like you're being asked, like emotionally, you don't want to move on. Emotionally, you're, you're in a holding pattern that wants to stay where it is. But it's almost like life itself is asking you to mature, to, to grow up, to move on. That, that almost like this is a sign that it's time to head in a different direction or, you know, sort of claim yourself, claim who you are. That this upset, this stinging has happened to, to get you out, to, to, to make you move. I think in, to some case, in some cases, it's almost like being forced into movement, being forced out of a situation, like a stampede is coming out of you. You got to get it out. You got to get out of the way. You got to just run and jump out of its way. It's, it's making you clear the room, but there is this sense. It's almost like. There's this sense or there's this person that you're dealing with this week that that doesn't want to move, that all they can do is watch and they all they can do is watch and wait. And it's almost like you want to save them from the stampede, but they're stuck. It's like they're frozen. This could be you in some situations, but I don't think it's you. I think it's somebody that you care about a great deal. They're frozen. They're stuck. They they don't they don't want to move. They can it's like they can feel the rumbling of the stampede coming for them but they don't want to move. They want to stay exactly where they are. They don't want to move. It's almost like this is, if this is the end of a road, it's the end of my road. I don't want to move past this. There is an emotional stuck to this circumstance and a, a weight that is placed on you because this is the fire energy and the sense of self for you to figure out a way through, for you to figure out a way to move forward. Um, it, you know, in a new capacity, sort of like, like, it's almost like Simba taking over for Mufasa type of thing. If you can understand that, if, if that makes any sense. And there's this, a missing piece to the puzzle that doesn't want to come out. So I feel like, um, you're, there could be some help coming in, some divine assistance coming through, breaking through almost like the stampede was meant to bring this kind of glory or bring this grace probably clear out the space and clear out room um oh wow I just heard wedding for some reason and I don't know why because this is not really wedding energy but it's almost like yeah there's in other words this is a, a time change for you this is a, a a big moment in your life Sagittarius where things are changing very very quickly and it's meant to sting you and push you out and, and force you into another direction. 
that you may not have normally gone, but it is sort of, it was divinely guided. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, a lot of ambiguity going on with this reading. So what I want to know a little bit deeper, uh, when we go over to Vimeo is exactly what is going on, who is involved. Um, I just, I, I feel like there's a particular like energy that I don't want to put a stamp on as in, I don't want to say, you know, somebody is sick or somebody is ill, but I'm going to, I'm going to dive in with, with the tarot energy and see if we can get to the bottom. So if you want to, the bottom of this, so if you want to come over, um, over to Vimeo, the link is below. I'm going to do a full tarot spread on this, and I'm also going to pull some angel cards, but I, 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 not angel cards, uh, whispers of love card. I, I feel though, Sagittarius, to be totally honest with you, I don't think you're, I don't think your focus is really on love this week, which is ironic because there seems to be this fulfillment or this wedding in your future. Um, and whatever is stinging and hurting now was is actually a catalyst to you moving forward and you moving on. I'll see you over on Vimeo.